for those of you, if you don't know me, I am Aubrey Paxton. I work with Jill and I have worked with her for how many years? 13 years or so now, which is very exciting. Um, and yeah, I think that's all the introduction. <laughs> I was told I was supposed to introduce myself, so. Um, I don't know how many of you have seen, but Stampin' Up! has recently decided to do some online exclusives. And um, it's semi-new. They've done some different um, online stuff before, but I feel like uh, they are starting to kind of try and go this way. It looks like they have kind of a plan. So we wanted to um, introduce you to some of the product and to what that looks like. So I am excited to show you the Irresistible Blooms suite of products. Um, this is an online exclusive suite that you can currently order online. It's super cute. It's a pretty, I mean, pretty simple flowery set. It has very basic sayings like, thank you, hello, I like you, really cute. It has the cursive and the um, just regular, uh, what is this called, font um, in there. So it's just a really good all around set. I really love the stamp set. And then coordinating with it is the Irresistible Blooms dies, which is really cute. It cuts out the flowers, it has some leaves in here, and then it has these two really cute, um, I don't even know what to call them, circly lined dies. <laughs> They're really cute that go with it. There's also these really cute loose frosted dots that coordinate and they're really pretty too. And then the paper, which is one of my favorites. It's the Hello Irresistible 6x6 paper. I think this is just perfect springy designer series paper. I love the colors which I don't know how many of you remember from past years, Pretty Peacock and Lost Lagoon. They happen to be in this paper. So I don't know if that means we're getting those back. I don't know. But <laughs> we're very excited that they're in this paper. Um, so there's one side and then flip over and show you more of the watercolory side there. Really, really cute. I love the soft, I love the springy look to it and the watercolory look. It's just really fun. So I wanted to show you a few different ideas using this. Um, I feel like when whenever I run into somebody that has had experience or frankly no experience with crafting or making cards, it's either like, oh, I love that. I I want to get back into that. I used to do it years ago or it's, oh, I'm terrible at stamping and I could never do anything like that. And it's like, yes, you can. Everybody can. So I, I wanted to um, come up with some ideas for like a stamper that's beginning or loves simple ideas. Someone that's maybe that middle of the road person and somebody like me who needs all of it and wants to use all of it and make all the pretty things. And so I came up with a one sheet wonder for this six by six paper um, showing four different card layouts you can do in each of those different categories. So I hope that all makes sense. Four different cards in the three different simple middle of the road and um, avid crafter. So this would be your card one using this um, four by three piece. Card two would be using this three by two piece. Card three is using these four strips of three by three quarters. And card four is using these four one and a half inch squares. I will show you all of the cards that I came up with using these, but I'm gonna focus on this card three layout. I wanna show you each of the cards that I came up with using that. So for card one for a beginner, 
I'm just going to focus on the stamp set and the DSP because uh, you can't not use the DSP. What does DSP mean? Design or series paper? Patterned paper. Um, Stampin' Up! In the world of Stampin' Up! It is, we refer to it as DSP. So um, I'm going to use DSP, designer series paper, and um, the stamp set. So I'm going to first start by using Petal Pink, and I'm just going to stamp on the back of my cardstock here, just this pretty flower and give some interest to the back of my card. Okay, and then I wanna stamp my saying. I have a little piece here somewhere. I'm going to use the Hooray It's Your Day and stamp that in Flirty Flamingo, hopefully straight, just right in the center. We did it. Okay, and the um, layout I'm gonna use on this one, I have these four strips and I'm going to first cut a banner into this. Here's a tip. If you want a banner, cut up the center and then from the edge, to the top of the center from each side. And you'll get a pretty straight banner every time. So this is going to just go straight onto my card, onto the rent. And then I'm going to take those four strips and you can tell this is the paper that I used on this card. So it's out of this top piece and I'm gonna get this little flower out of that. So I want that flower to kind of stand out on my card. So I'm gonna flip over the other two pieces and just use this watercolory side and that's gonna be my background. And then these two are going to come just like that so that you can still see that flower and it kind of looks eclectically, eclectic-y, I don't know, is that the right word? And then I'll just put my saying right there. So I have that card, just bring it in here. Super simple. And it looks like I did a lot more work than I actually did on there. So fun. Okay, for my next one, again, I am going to use my four strips from that paper, but I also cut out the, a flower from this. So you can see, this paper has these really cute flowers. Now, if you were to add the dies in, you could use the dies to cut these flowers out right out of the paper. It's super nice. I fussy cut this one because I'm not, if I'm a casual stamper or a stamper that is kind of middle of the road, I have some product, I don't have everything, maybe I don't have a die cutting machine. I can still cut these flowers out and they're really cute. It's a little, I mean, fussy cutting isn't always my favorite thing, but I can do it. So I have my strips. What I am adding in this time, other than, where did they go? Other than my stamps and my paper, I'm gonna add in my cute little frosted accessories because they're really fun and they'll add just a little extra element to my card. So I'm going to line these up. I had them all um, laid out so that they lined up and then they got all mixed up. So let's see if we can put the puzzle together real quick. I'm going to adhere this onto this piece of white. So when I am doing kind of one of these panel cards where I have different strips and I'm trying to get them to um, look like little panels on the card, a tip is I'm gonna do the two edges first because then I know how far apart I need to put my two middle ones. So I'm gonna stick down one edge, just framing the around the sides. And then I know about how much space needs to be in between these, just like that, okay? 
Oh, before that, I'm going to use my big flower and do the same. I'm just going to stamp on that background. And I'm just, this is Flirty Flamingo on Flirty Flamingo. Really pretty. And I'm going to tear that down. Oh, I um, stamped my same. On this one, oh, I'm doing the same. I'm saying oh a lot. Is that weird? <laughs> Hooray, it's your day. <coughs> and that's just going to go right across there with my flower. And then I'm going to add some accessories. So let me bring in my full finished card here. So cute, and those accessories just kind of elevate it just a little bit, give it just a little bit more interest on there. But you have two different cards. You're using the same dimensions here in your patterned paper, but two completely different layouts. Okay, last one. Now this is for somebody who maybe owns a little bit extra stuff in their stamping, I don't know, what's the word? Stash. Library. <laughs> Library, that's a good one. Have to have it all. Inventory. That makes it sound business-like, and I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this these are super, super fun and cute dies, these uh, little circle and line, whatever you want to call it. They kind of remind me of, like, planets or outer space, but... I don't know. I think they're cute. Um, but when you cut it out, you can see it it cuts out more like the negative of the image and it leaves it like in the paper. I wanted to only have this circle. So I'm just going to go along that line and trim my little circles off so I can use this more as an accessory than as a full card front, if that makes sense. Okay. Okay. So on the stamping on this one, I'm going to use soft seafoam, and I'm going to stamp, thank you, just right in the center. And then I'm going to trim some banners into each edge of my thank you. Okay. And then I want to, again, build a background using my little strips here. So I have this soft sea foam piece. Oh, yeah, this one is the one I'm using. Super cute. And I'm going to make kind of like a panel card, but a little different. I'm just going to build a little, I don't know, scrap background. I can't, I can't think of what it reminds me of. It kind of reminds me of like a music, like, is there like a music thing when you, there's different bars? I don't know. Maybe I'm not making any sense. <laughs> a staff? Maybe it's that. I don't know. And I didn't get that straight at all. Look how bad that is, you guys. I'm going to trim it and it's going to be just fine. Then we're going to put our cute little thing on there. So we're going to snip this. Let's see how straight I can get it with one eye closed. It's not bad. All right. And then we'll put this on there. Pop up our thank you. And then add our frosted dimensions. Here, I'll bring in this card because it looks a little better. And you have a thank you. Again, using... Oops, those same size strips. You have three different ideas there. They look totally different. So these are the other um, layouts. So you have, oh, these are the other simple. Sorry. So these are for the simple crafter, these three, and this one with those four different ideas, card ideas. And then for your mid or casual crafter, not that one. 
Oh, yes, that one, sorry. Yes. So those. With the six by six, right? Yes. Oh, sorry. And then here's us crazy ones. See, look how cute that is with. So fun. Thank you, thank you.